The long wide street was too far for me to walk. Its burnt down buildings made me shiver. A protester was fighting with a member of the police. Burning cars lined the street where this madness was happening. At the end of the street, people looked worried and scared of something. I saw police, stop signs, paparazzi, more crowds of people in burnt buildings. I could see other people getting violent, smashing things and burning houses. Maybe this was because of their unexpressed anger. Maybe people were protesting for their own rights. Cash machines broken, dirt on the streets, children crying on my street. As I walked along the street, I saw newspapers on the floor. BBC News were filming, asking us what happened. My mum said they think we're dogs. I was still on the street, and all I wanted was to get out of this weird event. I heard from some distance people swearing about police and the Prime Minister. I felt like I could hear as far as China. I heard the weeping of disappointed mothers bickering about who did this. A commentator shouting, three, two, one, action. I heard the sounds of crackling fire, the sound of sirens, the sound of people crying and the sound of windows shattering. I heard the buildings tumbling and crumbling, People were cursing the sky. I smelt the smoke and felt it burning my eyes. It was far too powerful for me to bear. I held my breath and carried on walking. At the end of the street, I joined the protesters with banners. I went up to touch one of the falling buildings. It felt like I was touching a broken heart. Many things were possible. The street is better. The cold street has gone. In its place is a warm, loving community trying to change its surroundings. The cries of pain have disappeared. No houses are on fire. The only helicopters hovering around are for football matches. Children are free to play. Everyone has rights and responsibilities. Everyone is equal. All of the violence has been sucked into video games. We are all moving slowly but surely. Tottenham has a bad reputation, but it's one of the friendliest places. See all the children playing in the park. I see parents hugging their children. The worry lines on their faces are etched in. Money can be hard, but we all love each other, and love is more valuable than any amount of money. The street is wide and clear, from north to south, shared by everyone, a brilliant community. Past and present, festivals and carnivals. The setting is 500 years in the future. There are robots everywhere, flying buses, and everyone has an Apple product. People are instructing holograms, telling them what to do. I can smell the sweet grass with the fresh morning dew dancing its way up my nose. The birds tweet happily and the sun shines brightly. People are now connected with nature. People live in transportable houses and with the click of their fingers, they can go anywhere they want. There are no jobs as people design and create for each other planning their cities and futures. At the end of the street, a group of young people are protesting peacefully. There are people from charities singing and dancing with money boxes in their hands. People are celebrating. War has been abolished. The street is serene. <laughs>